Um, uh, his, he was laughing at options against Seth's dive kicks. Wow, so it's like a really appreciative thing for him. Like, okay, yeah. so please carry on. I mean, I, yeah. I'm playing a match. Yeah, just, kind of just play. Just play. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. I wish, Don't I comment wish, it yourself. <laughs> I wish he know would play Street Fighter, but he hates it for some reason. Street Fighter <laughs> community, you know who to attack. Female. He hates Street Fighter. Yeah, um, like one of uh, Himal Bai's most common complaints is uh, this is true Fighter Five that Yo. everything <laughs> he he likes to he likes to posit that everything is ultimately a strike throw mix up in Street Fighter Five, and I don't know how much I subscribe to that notion, but uh, well, Man. like well, He's the Street Fighter community getting... has yeah, He's we, always we have... getting into fights uh, in our you know, uh, <laughs> group. Uh, fighting game community group. He's always getting into fights, uh, calling this game the pro fighter. Yeah. Yeah, and usually it's gonna have some form of conflict versus Farid. So Himal versus uh, Himal Bhai versus Farid is one of the most classic conflicts that we see <laughs> across both FGN and our FGCB group. This is one of those things that is a tale as old as time and yada yada as rhyme you yeah, know it's just like they start it, shouting and everything man they get serious when they're arguing about street fighter i kid you not our audience i kid you not there's been comment threads that have exceeded 100 comments entirely Normal. about street Normal fighter 5 yeah. and yeah <laughs> And more come at 11 on whatnot. Like people like to compare these two 2D games in our community for some reason, for whatever reason. And RG Mercer will actually win a game in this exhibition set. Perhaps all that warming up on Rizwan and Omar Bai's <laughs> will amount to something. And so speaking so, of Mortal Kombat, here we are seeing some traction in Mortal Kombat and a lot of new players joining. I mean, we have over like uh, 25 players now. In the, in the beginning of the year, uh, back in February, we just had like four players. And now mm. we have 25 plus. And like there's uh, players joining every day. And we, uh, we are lucky to have Nakian. Uh, he's doing some coaching and training on new players and mentoring uh, them. and. The tournament that he did recently, that helps out a lot to keep the player uh, engagement high. Right. Um, it is certainly a valiant and strong effort from our MK players, and we applaud that most certainly. And um, it is, yeah, that's um, quite necessary. Like, see, MK players are uh, getting more and more used to the game and more and more um, comfortable in their shoes. Gotta do something about Tekken though. Tekken, nobody wants to play Tekken. They join for a week and they just, they just leave. Man. What's wrong with that game? Well, I think the execution barrier is quite daunting to a lot of players. Like, I, I would play it, but I am currently daunted by the size of the game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you oh. don't have to be a master of pro. Right? Just have fun, casual matches. Yeah, I'm probably gonna start off with Noctis and just gonna start swinging a swinging a sword because I love swords and <laughs> kicks and stuff like that. So yeah, that's gonna be it from my side. I don't think I'm gonna mess around with Akuma or Geese because although I love 2D fighting games and Geese is from my favorite franchise, uh, King of Fighters. Or that universe basically like i don't think i like the idea of 2d mechanics in a 3d game i don't want to jump i don't want to fireball and this is chicken i want to fight stuff <laughs> like yeah, you, get, you can sidestep the fireballs dude yeah you can but uh, i don't want there to be fireballs at all like who he's, like he's is a he, character man you can set up a lot of things with the fireballs he's an akuma boat you can do a lot he, of cool stuff with I mean, imagine if you're playing Tekken and you're playing like, you know, like a proper match online and your opponent is playing like, I don't know, like boss level Devil Jin or something, Devil <laughs> Kakuya, and they have fucking like face lasers and that sort of stuff. Like, how is that fun? This is Tekken. <laughs> like, I don't know. But like, uh, I just see double Repukin and like all that meter and those like wall combos from geese and i'm like oh god this this game just 
get it out of my face. Well, um, in Tekken, usually uh, when, uh, whenever you have an o OP move, it's usually uh, balanced through heavy punishment, right? So if you I do see. a if you do a laser kind of a move, or if you do a like a really powerful suppose launching move, and if I get to block it, or if I get to set the side step it, usually I can just like take away 50% of your life or 60%. So you have to be careful. You might get a yeah. high reward, but the risks are high as well. So that is how they balance the game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that that appears to me to be like a general fighting game. Well, yeah, a fighting game I mean, balanced like, philosophy. Tekken is like, like a very balanced game, but uh, like... Uh, Except, for Leroy. Yeah. Except for Leroy. Yeah. For Leroy and, and Papun Ram. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for mentioning yeah. that. They Can't go wrong to... with that Muay Thai and that um that wing chun the wing chun yeah. and muay thai respectively yeah go on yeah right. no, no i'm saying that uh, you know you, you can get that going because like even though these two characters they were introduced like newly into this game but the creators the developers they have promised that there are going to be multiple balance patches coming in and whenever they introduce a new character they're always going to be a problem and they acknowledge it uh, but they somehow you know send out balance patches to fix these stuff yeah, I went for the character switch, by the way, because... Uh, are, you, are you going to start your shenanigan of mirror matches? Oh, thank you. No, God. no, I, I can't <laughs> stay kill, unfortunately. Okay. This is a fan service for... Uh, Hunal Bhai, because he really likes, loves Nash. Yeah, one of the most common complaints about the uh, Street Fighter V FGC by Siam Himil is that everyone plays boring characters. Like, he does not like the Akumas, the Gokis, and the, like, you know, um, the usual shows of the world. He likes to see fun characters with interesting mechanics and, you know, like, unconventional gameplay. And you know, like he like he likes to see all the unorthodox strategies and you know like interesting like options and stuff like that in a fighting game character. He does not like to see your usual run of the mill vanilla fireball X uppercut character that you see across so many Japanese fighting games. My my experience with Hinel tells me that uh, he usually he, he's a very scientific player, right? So he will measure your gameplay, he will measure your uh, frame data and yes. then act accordingly, punish you accordingly. Uh, but uh, he, whenever there's like a mix-up game, uh, he doesn't, he, he, he appreciates the uh, frame data better. He doesn't like mix-ups that much. Yeah, he is a brain-based player, and he does not listen that much to his heart, or and he does not. And while while his um, his labbing is decent, that is not his main suit of strength. That is not his execution is not necessarily his biggest strength. It's his knowledge base. It's his uh, keeping up with his opponent's options and their moves throughout the set. Sure, um, but execution-wise, he's really good as well. Really, yes, really he, good. Yes, he works on execution, but I think his yeah. talent lies in You've the... You've seen his Fujin combos, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I learned Fujin combos as well. It's like, if you're used to MKX combos, they shouldn't, they don't take all that long. Like, sure, it took me like two weeks, but like it took him like a few days so that's saying something all right yep. like so it's um like it took me something like one and a half weeks or two weeks but him it just i think it came through in over the matter of three to four days and that was it but i think uh like as it's not like in mk11 you don't get to necessarily show off like god level execution skill because the combos are somewhat toned down it's there's more of an emphasis on like getting your neutral game to work properly or like you know um having a good idea of mix-ups and the reads on the part of the enemy but like the thing with Himil Bhai is over the course of the match, over the course of the set, he will have a very good rough idea of how many times 
you've done X in A situation and how many times you've not done Y in B situation, etc. Yep. So, like, while he keeps that record in his head, he's able to multitask keeping up that record with his execution and his play, which uh, which goes a long way, as you can imagine. Yeah, and he, he looks at it like, uh, like uh, he looks at things like we see, you know, drama series or movies. I mean, he remembers your gameplay. Yeah, yeah, I think um, that's not easy to do because uh, in terms of like just, you know, the research on the matter or like science, like generally we humans, we're a lot more emotional and not rational than we like to give us, give, you know, like we're, all, we're a lot more irrational than we like to credit our, give credit for. Like it's, uh, we, we go to our day by feeling most of it really and even though we might be under the impression of otherwise like i will say himal bhai is one of those rare cases that know how to suppress their feeling in order to make sure that their thinking works flawlessly or smoothly yep yeah yep. so also it's, it's, really it's very unfortunate for him actually like uh, <laughs> him, he doesn't have much many opponents except for me i don't yeah. know yeah and <laughs> he doesn't have anyone Casual humble <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have anyone who laughs at him as seriously as he does. Round one. <laughs> true, it's true, it's true. He, he's on a different league, and we started the conversation with that, right? There are a few players, uh, there, there are a few gamers in Bangladesh. They don't have any competition whatsoever. I mean, uh, as far as I know, uh, two of the best players in Bangladesh is uh, Email, Email, and another brother called Rizwan. Island? No, it's like a uh, Ruman Hali. Ruman, Ruman Hali, right. right. He was in the chat today. And I asked him, uh, what's up uh, What's up with your MK11 game plan? He's like, he, he gave up. So I'm pretty sure it's the same with him. Nobody can beat him and so he just gave up. And he started playing some other game. So that's, it's like a classic problem. We, we can we can see it and somehow relate to it by watching uh, Saitama. I mean, Rizwan Bai also played MK11. <laughs> I remember, man, he was so good. He was good. He, he was, exactly. He's really good, he's really good. Like, he will, um, like, things that he knows about neutral game across 2D fighting games in general, he will just apply, like, you know, smoothly, flawlessly, effortlessly in MK11 or any other fighting game, really. It's just, like, he just has such a really good grasp on the intuitive mechanics in the neutral game across everything. So I was I was thinking, you know, of these any, any game you speak of, MK or uh, Street Fighter or Tekken, whenever a new new player comes in, right, it's very difficult for him to learn the game. And when you go into the community to play, I mean, most of the players they've been playing for six months, four months, one year, five year, ten year, and they start by losing the game. Somehow it really demotivates them and they stop playing and they quit the game. So I was thinking of, you know, uh, it, it, thinking of setting up a strategy so that these new players, they can be more comfortable and, you know, a safe environment for them to learn the game. And, you know, just uh, to soften their blow when entering the community. Because you play against an experienced player and even if he has like a one month or a two month lead on you, you can never win against him. Right. And and that's like a problem in FGC. I think um, one of the challenges is you have to train people to look for and appreciate the small victories. Like, um, like, like. How the, do you do that? So this is the case you, you mentioned. So the case you mentioned before, um, the player with the gap. The player who has started a few months before you and it seems that there's an insurmountable difference between the two of you, right? So there's, um, I think, if you have this expectation that I'm gonna win a game against him, that's not gonna be a good, like, you know, mindset to have because, like, first you gotta work out how, how first you gotta work out, can I punish him after this sequence? Um, can I can I can I predict his backdash and actually do something about this? Can I can I like you got to work about no, things like that? Man. Those, are, those like, are pretty advanced level stuff. I'm talking about nah, complete nah. moves, complete moves. 
Yeah, sure, sure. Like when you're like a noob for like a week or something, and if you don't know like any mechanics, you're probably better off working with someone that has a similar skill level as you. You want to have equal parts fun and learn. Like, but um, unfortunately, I feel like you either like you figure out a way to get them motivated through small wins, like. Um, if they figure out how to punish sweep properly, if they figure out that, oh, this move is a low, I gotta watch out for it. Or if they see, if, if you can start conditioning them with like a, you know, far reaching slow move that hits I, hard. I feel, like, I feel, you know what you're saying, punishing and like observing and then reacting to those things, they don't come like naturally when you first start playing the game. When you first no, start. No, no. Of course not, but you so, start off with small conditions. Like say say you're the better player and say you're facing off against a noob. Why don't you start saying, all right, in this game, the only two things I'm gonna do are I'm gonna jump in and I'm gonna sweep you. If I sweep you, you gotta block low. If you see me jumping, you gotta block high. You start off with something like that. You don't start off with a real game. You start exactly, off with exactly small what conditions. I was trying, exactly what I was trying to say. You know, the pro, I mean, the experienced players, the more experienced players, they have to look at the new players with more compassion. And like whenever That's they're weird. versing these new players, they, they have to establish the fact, hey, listen, dude, I'm better than you, but I'm here to help your game. So please, uh, you know, just give me a chance to help you out rather than just, you know, destroy them and like 